to the fourth installment of the Axon Quick Start Guide video series and today we're going to talk about the query model and how that would look in our food ordering demo we've been working the last couple of episodes. So today that means in this demo we're going to build our query model which essentially means that we're going to ingest events to hydrate our query model based on those events. So we're going to look at handling events, but we're also going to look at handling queries because the query model is there to uh, be as an answer to a query being sent within your application. Now let's dive into our favorite IntelliJ. We have our basic food ordering demo over here and I've already dropped my cursor on the query package because we're obviously going to introduce something into the query package. Now, I've already added something for the simplicity of this demo so that we can be a bit more focused. What I did is I introduced a food cart view class. So this is a Kotlin data class. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is the object which we're going to store and which we're going to re return as a response to handling events for the updating and handling queries to answer. This would be the answer. So this is just a regular entity using the Java uh, entity annotation. It has a food cart ID, which makes sense. And there's a map of products pointing to the product ID and the quantity up here. And I've paired this with also containing the food cart view repository using uh, Spring Data JPA. For those not in the know, this simplifies my life greatly because this contains all the nice things like saving and updating without me having to focus on it. So it really shortens this part of the demo. Now, having said that, we need a component which will actually handle these messages, these events and these queries to update this view and to return it. And to that end, I'm going to introduce a component in this class. I'm going to make this a Java class. I'm going to call this the food cart projector. Now, let's create it. And IntelliJ has a, has a day off today, apparently, because it's slow. There it is. And we're going to annotate this with add component, thus making it a spring bean. And I'll come to that later while I'm doing this. And I'm going to introduce our food card repository in here as a field because we need this guy for updating and retrieval. I'm going to make an automatic constructor. It really is slow today, but that's fine. We'll get there. So this food card projector, I've called it a projector because it's going to project the food card view and it's in charge of updating the food card view. So firstly, we want to update uh, an existing food card once one is created. And to that end, we're going to introduce an event handling function. And this is the wrong one. I need the regular event handler. There it is. On a food card created event, that's when we want to create a new food card. View. So that's what we're going to do, create food card view, and we need to provide a UUID, the food card ID, and the products. Now, our event only contains the food card ID, so that's what we're going to introduce, and for the rest we're going to introduce an empty map up here. I'm going to be pragmatic, make this a food card view, so we got a food card view, and this is the thing which we want to store in the repository. So we do repository.save the food card view. And this is basically all there is to handling an event to update our query model. We're not doing any business logic here because that's what you do in the command model. This is purely reacting to an event and knowing I want to instantiate this food card view, this query model specifically for our users. We know we also have the option to select and deselect products, but I'll add that to the GitHub repo later on. I think I want to focus on a bit more other concepts than seeing how that would work out because that's just retrieving a query model and I'm updating it. It's not very exciting. So the next thing I want to introduce is the way to retrieve a single food cart view. And if you recall, we have introduced a find food cart query to that end. So we can add another message handling function in this class. So we have a query handler for that. It's going to return a food cart view and the find food cart query is going to be ingested up here. And we need to return a food cart view, which we're obviously going to retrieve from a repository. So we're going to do repository.findById because the query, the only thing it has is the food cart ID. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to find our food cart view based on the ID. Now, and this find by ID, the JPA repository implementation returns an optional. So it might not be there. So in that scenario, we want to return null to be pragmatic. 
this is the basic implementation of our food cart projector. And there's one final thing I want to point out here. Now, I've added these annotations and all for now will work out of the box. The reason for that is because we're using the Axon Spring Boot starter. So that means that in a Spring Boot environment, Axon will look for any beans. So this, making this a bean, whether those have message handling functions. And if so, those methods, so our food cart created event, Handler, for example, will be registered to the event bus to be able to handle events. Similarly, it will do that for this query handler annotated handle method. Uh, it will register this method to the query bus. Well, that's it for today. Well, and if you'd want to learn more regarding what we're doing here at Exonic, we obviously got our head webpage, exonic.io, where you can go to. You've got a reference guide ready for you at docs.exonic.io. We also have this food ordering demo I've been preparing in this guide and a GitHub repo you can look at. And lastly, it would be very great if you like this series, if you subscribe to our Exonic channel, which obviously is also the place to find these videos. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you next time.